Hey guys, I'm Samantha Jarnian and I'm a senior in 412 and today I'll be doing your Friday devotion. This is Matthew 6 verses 25 through 27. Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And which of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to your life? I don't know about any of you guys, but I find myself worrying a lot. Whether that worries about friends, my social life, school, or anything else, it oftentimes consumes my thoughts. Middle and high school are hard. You deal with a lot of new people, schoolwork gets a little bit harder, and your friend groups might even change. For me at least, this school year has been full of lots of up and ups and downs, and I'm sure that many of you could agree. But the only thing is, is most of these ups and downs have been related to school things. I'm sure that all of you know about the coronavirus, since schools are out, and in a way it feels like everything is shutting down. We have never experienced a pandemic before. It's scary, it's new, and we aren't even supposed to leave our house. So, where does that leave us? Are we supposed to be angry about getting cut short of a school year? Are we supposed to worry about all the older folks in our community that are at risk of complications from the coronavirus? Be bored all the time? In the verse I chose for this devotion, it reads, Which of you by worrying can add a single hour to your life? God does not want us to worry, as it will not change anything about the current situation we are in. In this hard time, we have to remember that worrying will not change anything. This is out of our hands and in God's hands, and we have to trust him. During the rest of this strange time, I challenge all of you to put your faith in God and to try and focus on some things that you enjoy doing. Go for a walk outside, write in a journal, or focus on schoolwork that you might have. We will get through this by positivity and by supporting each other. Let us pray. Hey God, we ask you to help us to remember that everything is in your hands and that you will always have our best interest. Please watch over all of us in this time of trial and fear and teach us to be calm and gracious. Help those directly and indirectly affected by the coronavirus and heal them physically and allow them to trust in you. Today, we want to exhale stress and anxiety and we want to inhale your love and grace. Thank you for this time to come together and love one another and lean on each other. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys.